Okay, this is a quick video to show you how to get the new version of Ardbeer or whatever other software you want to load onto a uh, a Arduino, onto the Arduino. First off, I'm not showing you this, I'm just showing you my screen, but I'm going to plug the uh, Arduino into a USB cable on my computer, and it'll go ahead and install that uh, with the device drivers, whatever. Then we want to go to Arduino's uh, main page to download the software. So to do that, the easiest way is we're just going to go to a search engine, and in our search engine, we are going to type in Arduino download. We download the latest Arduino software. And 1.66 is all good, so we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to get the Windows installer, which is relevant for uh, for what I've got. Uh, here I'm just going to say just download. I'm not going to donate at this point in time. And here we go, I'm going to download it. Now you can see I've actually already got this downloaded uh, up here. So we're just going to go ahead and install that piece of software. So if you go ahead and download it... Um, So here's my Arduino software. Let's go ahead and download it. Now, if you've downloaded a piece of software of Arduino before, it's going to say, do you want to uninstall it? We're going to go ahead and click OK, and we're just going to uninstall the previous version. It's going to say you want to, you want to delete everything. Uh, the only thing I'll say here is if you have done this before, so I'm going to go to Program Files x86, because it's a 32-bit program, not 64-bit. So I'm going to go into Arduino. And if you have libraries that you've put in this libraries folder before, uh, so if you are messing around with it and it says, hey, I'm going to delete all these files, you might want to take a copy of any f uh, libraries that you are, you know that you've installed in there before. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to go ahead and delete everything. And we can see in that Arduino folder, it's all gone. It's all the libraries, everything is all gone. And we're going to hit I agree. It's going to install uh, the software back again and we can see all those files now, or the new version of Arduino is being installed, and so they're appearing in that in that folder. The next thing that we'll need is, in that libraries uh, folder that I was telling you about, there's going to be some libraries that we need uh, to run. A library is basically a piece of code that the um, the Ardbeer sketch loads into itself, so they haven't had to write that, somebody else has already written it, and they're just going to load it in, which will help them to do certain functions. That's what a library of code basically does. So in so what we need to do is we need to get that library of code. Now, I've already got the, the libraries of code you'll need, which are OneWire and PID version 1, and they'll be I'll put a link on this so you can download it. So as you install the Arduino, it's going to ask for the USB driver. We're going to go, yes, of course, install it. Uh, and as we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and copy these folders. So you will have downloaded them from a link I give you. Uh, and we're going to go ahead into this libraries folder, and we're going to just go ahead and paste them in. It's going to ask us for confirmation. We're going to hit yep. And there we go. So we've got the libraries in. We've got the Arduino software installed. Uh, now it's finished. So now we can actually use the Arduino software. So we just... Uh, let's, let's open up Arduino. This is the latest version. Uh, so when you first open up Arduino, it's going to have basically um, no details in there. So we're just going to go ahead and first off, we need to connect to the board that we already have. So we go to Tools, and then we go to Port, and it's going to have the port in there. So now we're connected to uh, the, the port on 175. By default, the other thing that will happen is the board that is listed. So here we've got a Mega. Your board, when you first install Arduino, it'll be a Uno that's Select it. So you just go ahead and click on the mega, and then that means that it'll it'll um, communicate it with appropriately and calculate the files, the size that the board can handle appropriately. So then we're going to go and open up our sketch. So this will be our Ardbeer sketch. So you can see here I've already uh, got mine in the right location. So I've got a collection of all the different ones I've downloaded from Ardbeer. I'm going to click 2.8.3, open it up. So you've downloaded this, and the place you'll download this from. Um, I'll put a link in the, in the in the video as well, but basically it's from their Dropbox. Now we want to set it as for the Arduino kit. We want it for the original board, so all the pinout is this is being on our PCB is the same as Matho's original PCB, and then 20 for a 20 by 4 LCD and number one for English. So I've already set those. You might need to uh, to do that. Then we need to verify. Those are all the settings you need to change in this section. Uh, of the sketch, or of the entire sketch, we'll need to set up the, the program itself. Now, with this newest version of uh, 
of Arduino, you'll get, you'll find you get a whole bunch of warnings that say deprecated. That basically means there's a new way of doing it which is better, um, or is in the new version of the language for Arduino, uh, but it doesn't matter. So just let it go through. Alright, there we go. So we can see up the top we've got a little message telling us it's done compiling. So that's worked, uh, and it tells us we use 32.592 bytes, basically, or 32 kilobytes, roughly. Um, for an Arduino Uno, you know, that's pushing right up against the limit. For an Arduino Mega, which we're using, uh, with, it comes with your kit, you've got about 256,000 um, bytes or so it's a, a massive difference and you've got heaps of space available. So we're going to go to tools and we're just going to double check that the board is the right person, the right one, that the port is correct. They're both correct. So now we're going to hit upload. When you hit upload, it'll first recompile the sketch and uh, in, in a second or two after it's finished compiling, it's going to start uploading and you'll get the LEDs on your board will start blinking. So here you can see it started to upload and so the LEDs on my Mega are now blinking. and done uploading. So that's finished. And now basically all you need to do is to plug it in and configure it and I'll make another video to show you how to do that. Good luck. If you have any questions, please ask.